Queen, how are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life and Harmony Podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up so you don't carry that baggage over to today and wonder why you're angry, depressed, and down, and no energy. It's all because of you, but the good news is you can clean that up so you can have a good day. Remember, we're not promised tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. This is it. This is all we have. What are we going to do with it? I'm going to read the list of all the things that control us. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself distractions everywhere then you have nothing but excuses gambling work working out food addiction binge tv phone podcast news surgery pain being in a relationship with a man or a woman mentally physically spiritually financially emotionally sexually abusing one another and you may want to add to the list okay today i want to talk about um making yourself a priority I want you to schedule yourself in daily and make sure all your needs are taken care of and I want you to teach everybody around you to do the same so you don't make them dependent on you and how unhealthy that is Um, thinking that's cute by being there for your kids every need or being there for your partner's every need or being there for your partner's every need. That is not cute. That is a setup for failure. That is to teach them to be dependent on you and then they are nothing without you when you're gone, which is very, very, another form of abuse, um, keeping people crippled, keeping people um, at your beck and call. And it's not healthy for anybody. And again, remember, the reality is is that it's not our job to do other people's work and if there's nothing left of you so if I didn't do my spiritual stuff in the morning and do my workout and keep my food clean and keep myself healthy there's nothing left for me for my husband for my clients for my tenants I would be nothing but good for uh, you know nothing left of me and I would be miserable and I would be nasty to be around I would be ungrateful Um, I would be a gossiper. I would be a drama queen. I would sit there and hate everything around me because I'm not taking care of myself. I said that to my husband. Be grateful that I have a program. Be grateful that I have the people in my life that I do because if I didn't, you and I probably wouldn't be married. Again, it's about taking care of your needs and not putting that onto your partner and then divorcing your partner because he's the problem when really you are the problem. And when you really get that, only you can change the scene. Only you can change what you don't like. We are powerless over anybody else. And that's where it comes in with the attitude, the attitudes, um, accepting things the way they are. Stop controlling. Take charge. Who cares if your partners or the people around you get pissed off of what you like, what you do, what makes you happy? It's none of their business. Tell them to find their own happiness, find their own hobbies, find the things that make them happy. And guess what? When you're all together, you can all enjoy one another instead of pissing everybody off, judging one another, bringing your drama to the table. That's called life in harmony. Remember balance, not too much of anything, our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, Everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you get in return. No more, no less. Remember, that is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It's, it has to be natural or else we get backed up. And I told you, 
We need to follow the be attitude when you have an attitude. Being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor and contentment, the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you smooth talkers, manipulators, narcissists, your words mean nothing. Your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying from Michael Singer. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change. Discipline is freedom. The undisciplined mind is like an elephant. If left to blunder around, out of control, it will wreak havoc. Confront the difficult while it's easy. Accomplish the great tasks by a series of small acts. You must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really the blockage of light. Eventually, you realize that you cannot actually hurt yourself to go beyond your psychological limits. If you're willing to just stand there at the edge, keep walking, and you go beyond, you used to pull back. You used to get uncomfortable. It's okay to get uncomfortable. Just break through that wall and imagine the peace that you could experience if you weren't constantly creating and defending your false self. Michael Singer. Okay, I'm going to read a little part from my book. And you, it's page 75, third paragraph, very small. Again, still, this is your awakening. And you learn to fight for your life and not to squander it, living under a cloud of impending doom. Oh my gosh. This is for you depressants out there. No matter what anybody does for you, it, it, it doesn't matter. You're constantly down. You're t- constantly gloom, doom. Everything is just, ah, uh, nothing is good enough. That's how you see your world, and that's the world you judge, and that's called your world. So what are you going to do to get out of your gloom and doom? Again, what I talked about earlier, um, things that I had to learn and be creative as time went on. Remember, I was with my first husband for 24 years, my second husband for 25 years. You need to be creative in your marriage. You need to be creative in your relationship. That's why it's important that you plan things throughout the month. Do many trips. See friends. Take little trips. Go camping. Be with your be with your nieces, your nephews. Um, uh, be with your grandma, grandchildren. Uh, uh, Find different friends. Try different groups. Be creative. Make your fun. Do not make anything your priority. Mix it up. Mix it up. Not too much of anything. You will never be bored. You will never be disappointed. You will never have to abuse yourself anymore. But it's your job to get creative, to stop being doom and gloom. After you come home from work, spend a couple hours to yourself. Read a book. uh, Watch a movie. There's no set schedule. Eat later on. Eat before you watch your movie. Eat before you uh, read your book. Whatever. Create it. When you decorate, there are no rules. You know? Put your dining room where you want to put your dining room. Put your living room where you want to put your living room. Put your bedroom where you want to put your bedroom. Be creative. Stop worrying about what the hell other people think. Remember, nobody gives a shit. Only you can care. Create your own space. 
and this way you will have life in harmony. Okay, remember, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she is appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today, be true to ourselves. The answers always lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner if I become it. I will attract it. Do two things a day you don't want to do to have a successful day. My two things are always getting up early and doing my podcast, working out and keeping my food clean, and then I'm going to have a great day. We can all heal together one day at a time. It's a decision from our head to our heart. You are worth it. Remember, you can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workshops and my books. And if you want to learn about my services, lifeandharmonyonline.com. I will go over my services with you. Leave your number. Remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Please hit that colorful round button that says L and hit subscribe to all. Share it with everybody you love and respect. The more people we share with, the more people wins. And remember, start with podcast number one, number two, number three. There's order into receiving all this information. It can be quite overwhelming. And remember, I want you to have a fabulous day today. And thank you for listening.